If you're buying a home, you may be wondering what closing costs are. In this video, we're gonna go over different costs that may come up, an estimate for what they might be, and some options for having them paid. I'm gonna list these in three different sections based on when the money is typically paid. So once you get a home under contract, you'll typically pay an earnest money deposit. This isn't considered part of the closing costs, but since we're talking about things you'll be paying up front, I figured we might as well include it. The amount of this will vary depending on the area that you're buying in and the price of the home. This deposit will later be used as a credit towards closing costs once you go to closing. Now, most of the time we see this at about 1% of the purchase price, but again, it might be much different in your area. I've seen as low as zero and as high as 20% of the purchase price. Okay, I've only seen the 20% deposit once and it just so happened to be me when I purchased the home that was being built and I went a little crazy on customizing. Anyway, your real estate agent will help you figure out how much this will be. So after your offer is accepted and before the closing date, you'll typically have some inspections that come up. The most common are appraisal, home inspection, and termite inspection. Now appraisals are typically six to 700, home inspections are typically three to 500, and termite about 80 to 150. Now these costs can be much higher depending on the area and type of property you're buying in. Now if you have to get a property like this appraised, it's gonna be a lot more. Now let's move on to closing. At closing is when the rest of the closing costs are due, including the down payment if you have one. Fees from the mortgage company, title, Insurance premiums will all be listed on the final disclosures. If your home has a homeowners association, any fees they charge will be due at closing as well, in addition to any transfer or mortgage taxes if the area you are in requires them. Now from the mortgage company, you may have points, underwriting, processing, application, and credit report fees. Points will depend on how the loan is structured. Um, I'll put a video in the description that explain how points work if you need. Now for underwriting, we typically see around 1,100, processing at around 500, application anywhere from one to 300, and credit reports about 50. Each mortgage company is different, so you may have some or none of these depending on who you work with. Now if a lender doesn't charge some of these, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting a better deal, you'll just have to compare everything side by side. From the title company, we typically see lender's title insurance, which is typically paid for by the borrower, owner's title insurance, which is typically paid for by the seller, title search, closing fees, surveys, and some small processing fees. Now title insurance varies depending on the home. Title search fees can be anywhere from a couple of hundred to over a thousand depending on the area. Closing fees are typically around 200. Surveys usually around 500 if one is required and about 200 or so for the other processing fees. Now these fees can vary quite a bit depending on the area that you're in. So all closing costs will typically total around two to 4% of the loan amount depending on the area you're in and how you structure the loan. Now remember, your earnest money will be credited towards the total. So you'll have down payment plus closing costs minus the earnest money deposit and this will be your total due at closing. Now let's go on to the option for those being paid. The majority of the time, these are paid for by the buyer, but they can also be paid for by the seller if it's negotiated that way once you submit an offer. You'll wanna discuss this with your agent at the time of submitting the offer. Now sometimes you may have a lender credit to help offset some of the costs. Be careful with this one though, depending on how it's structured, this can increase your interest rate by quite a bit. Lastly, some real estate agents may contribute towards the closing costs from the commission. Hopefully now you have an idea of what to expect when it comes to closing costs. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. See you on the next one.